groups. The twelve groups are the columns. Because it's one, one column, two columns. I think it's so important that teachers give students time to share and talk about their math thinking. That's when I've seen the deepest thinking from students. Mona Eel's third graders are developing a conceptual understanding of the commutative property of multiplication. Rather than providing direct instruction, Mona is using a process of grappling and student-centered discourse, which promotes deeper mathematical understanding and builds powerful habits of learning. I can find all the rectangles with my total So we always power. start our class together on the rug, focusing on the learning target. Then we always have a time at our seats or working individually to grapple through the content. Each student had a bag of 24 tiles as well as a piece of graph paper with the learning target on it. The goal for students was to build as many different rectangles as they could with all 24 tiles. And so in this case, students wrote a number model that matched the rectangle that they drew. It's important that kids work independently so that they can grapple through the math content. So did the total As I'm walking around, I'm also looking for students that I can highlight for the whole crew. What changed? That way, other students can see how they solved and then hopefully move their understanding even farther. Can you tell the, the class what you just told me? Yes. About how those factors switch places when you change the rectangle? Yes. Okay. Now, here's your next challenge. After students have had a sufficient amount of time to explore and grapple with the content for the day, and I've really been able to find a few examples so that I can highlight. And columns be groups? Yes. Hmm. I move the students to the rug so that we can have a share and a discourse. We sit in a circle for the share and the discourse so that students can all be accountable to the knowledge that's being shared. The goal of the discourse is for kids to explain their math thinking, to hear other people's math thinking and evaluate others' mathematical thinking. You're asking questions and answering your friend's questions. You're sharing your ideas and you're using the work to prove your thinking. I notice that students get to that point of evaluating others' math thinking once they're able to truly explain their own thinking. So active listeners on Zach, tell us how you built this rectangle and what you did to solve to come up with those number models. I put 12 in each row. Okay. And I'm gonna draw it just like Zach drew it on his graph paper, and I should see friends already getting ideas and thinking. You can be predicting what you think Zach did next. Yeah, a line. I put a line on each two columns. So you put a line on these, on the columns. Yeah. What were you I thinking about? That. I was thinking about putting lines on each two for a whole column, and then I thought about switching it and putting a line on each group. You turned your rectangle yes. and you put a line this way. So can groups be columns and rows? Yes. Talk to your partner. Can groups be columns and rows? In the discourse, it's a really great time for students to use their academic vocabulary. Right, it's just a factor that's changing, but the total is the same thing. Just like right. Zach did 12 times 2, then he changed the two times 12. The column still can be rolled because you always can switch it any time. I'm able to notice when students are using certain words and highlight that or have other kids echo it. So you're saying the columns can be groups, but they're, they're rows can also There's also times where kids don't have the language for a certain thing, and I'm able to just provide the word or the label. He did um, the thing, he just did this and this, but he didn't switch it around. Okay, so instead of using words like this and that and switch, I want to start using math words. Rows and columns, or groups. Can you use those words to explain how Zach solved this? Uh-huh. His column, the reason why he got the answer for his column is because he put um, the lines and his rows was going like that. If I stay true to letting kids think and talk about their thinking, I know that they will 
get there. Look at somebody next to you and say, you did good thinking today. Good thinking.